the procedure uh, that's called endoscopic mucosal resection, where the abnormal lining is actually cut out through an endoscope, was actually pioneered in Japan. There are several centers in the United States where this is performed. They're usually centers that specialize on Barrett's esophagus and where the endoscopists have a higher level of expertise. And we do receive patients from all over the country uh, who are interested in exploring this procedure versus um, either uh, endoscopic removal of the esophagus or potentially ablation. An endoscopic mucosal resection is typically performed for Barrett's esophagus with either precancer, what is called high-grade dysplasia, or an early cancer, what is called an intramucosal adenocarcinoma, one that hasn't breached the deep layers of the esophagus. Uh, these patients are sedated uh, for a standard endoscopic procedure. The endoscope typically uh, is inserted through the mouth of the patient and has a small plastic cap at the end of the scope. The lining of the esophagus is pulled into the cap and a snare is basically put around the polyp that is created and then using current and the snare, the polyp or the lining of the esophagus is removed. We can do several of these at a time, effectively removing you know, several centimeters of the lining of the esophagus. Uh, the procedure goes through the endoscopic uh, mucosal layer as well as the submucosal layer, and the specimen that is removed is sent to a pathologist for interpretation. So you're able to actually obtain a pathologic uh, report of what was removed and what the patient had, which is um, an advantage of this procedure. And um, the best data we have from this has actually been done in Germany, where they've been doing the procedure uh, for several years now. And patients who underwent this procedure for early intramucosal cancer were noted to have the same uh, age-adjusted survival as the average German population over a five-year period. So it's quite effective for the treatment of early cancer.